Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. Got a brand new episode for you today. Today I'm doing the Vivid Storm uh, Pro Electric Tab Tension Floor Rising ALR screen uh, that they have. This is an ultra short throw material that they have. Also, I'm pairing that with a Vava 4K UST projector. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the review and I'll do it right after the intro. Okay, so in this box, there's a 100 inch motorized screen comes with two different remotes, RF and IR. There's also a little bracket that comes with them too, so you have a little mounting solution. You have a wireless trigger that's USB uh, capable, and also you have your, your power cable. Other than that, the price on this unit is gonna be $18.99. You get uh, sizes from 92 to 120 inches. And if you go through their website, I'm pretty sure you can get an acoustically transparent screen, but only on Amazon, you only get the option of doing ALR, ultra short throw ALR, and a white screen. So with the UST ALR, it's a dark gray, 0.6 gain, 170 degree viewing angle with 97% ALR. Um, overall, I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a pretty good um, type of screen. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in a second what uh, the ultra short throw material is. It's kind of like a sawtooth mini blind design. And I'll go ahead and uh, give you guys a demonstration of that in a minute. So very first thing you're gonna wanna do is out of the box, you're gonna do alignment keystone correction, and then also uh, electric autofocus. This does 92 inches to up to 120 inches. All right guys, well, UST screens need to be uh, paired with UST projectors. So if you guys have one that's gonna be kind of on the floor, that's really close to the screen itself, that's what's called ultra short throw. Ultra short throw basically means that there's gonna be a small distance in between your device, your um, signal, and your or your projector and your actual screen. So now, um, just to show you guys what it is, the material is different than a traditional gray screen, white screen, whatever you guys are used to, ALR is different. So with an ultra short throw ALR screen, it's different than a traditional ALR screen. So now just real quick, I wanted to show you guys the general consensus on how ultra short throw ALR screens are made is that they have these kind of like horizontal lines on them. So it's kind of like mini blinds. So anything coming from the bottom is gonna be reflected ni nice, and, nice and even. Anything coming from the ceiling or like lamps or you know lights on in the house, it's gonna block those. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick right here. So imagine that this is the side that's coming from the projector, right? It's nice and white and you can actually see it. If I turn this over 180 degrees, right? It's all nice and black. So that's any of those things being on the, the lights on in the rest of the room or the windows open or you know any of that stuff. It's kind of the Achilles heel to two piece projection is gonna be light on and it's gonna kill your image. So with the ultra short throw screens, that actually gets rid of it from something like that. So again, this is what you're gonna be seeing reflected back onto your, uh, in, into your eyes. This is what the lights are gonna be seeing whenever they're on in the room. So they're not gonna be reflected back into your eyes. So now this is just a standard white screen, right? Nothing fancy about it, it's just a white screen. So now if we put this on this material, it doesn't necessarily look great. It kinda looks washed out. It looks really washed out in this environment, right? So that's the reason why you want to have, if you're going to have lights on, ALR is the way to go. If you, if you don't want to have lights on and you want to paint your room absolutely pitch black and be in a cave environment, white screen is the way to go. So there's a couple different answers for you guys. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do some pros and cons of this Vivid Storm uh, floor rising ALR screen. So the one thing that I'm going to note is that uh, with this one, it's great for family environments, especially if you're going to have this in like the, the living room, a family room, kind of something that's open to, to the rest of the, the family, kind of like a common area, you're gonna notice that this is gonna be a really great solution uh, as opposed to two-piece two projection. Cause typically in that, in that type of scenario, you're not getting the 95% ALR that you are with an ultra short throw screen and uh, um, an ultra short throw projector. So with those, you're actually gonna get the, the improved benefits of having those all the lights on, you know, and not necessarily having to be in a dark cave environment to really appreciate some really good uh, content. All right, guys, well, let's go ahead and talk about some cons. So the cons, the very first one that I'm gonna note, probably the biggest one is gonna be the rainbowing effect. As you guys can see right here in the dark parts, the, there's lights on like probably a good two feet away from the screen, um, kind of recessed back. But you'll notice that you will have that whenever the lights are on. So whenever the lights are off, you won't necessarily notice it. Okay, so another thing to note is that the alignment on this thing is critical. So if I were you guys, I would highly recommend mounting this to the wall 
and then using your um, uh, ultra short throw projector on a platform and then never touch it ever again. So the alignment is hard to get right. You have to get it left and right. You have to get it front and back. You have to get it twisted. You know, uh, there's there's basically those three axes like that pilots have to deal with with, uh, with with actually setting this thing up. And it's very, very hard to get it right. And it's very, very easy to mess it up. So if a dog comes by and whacks it with his tail, kid comes by and pokes it, then that, that's one thing to note for you guys as well. Another thing for you guys, if you guys have kids, uh, I wouldn't leave this up um, and then leave the room because this thing is very top heavy. And I've noticed that even just doing this review that if you kind of just give it a little push, it could come down. So um, highly recommend anchoring this to the ground any way possible. Um, I didn't necessarily notice anything in the kit that they sent, but at the same time, they do have these kind of like U-bolt or U-mounts that you can mount it to the wall. And that would be a really great solution. That way it doesn't actually ever come tilting forward so that you guys are all protected. So another thing inherent with uh, rising motor screens, things that drop down, things that rise up, you're gonna notice that there could be some creases and whatnot with tab tensioning. So this one does actually a really good job of uh, combating that, but I did notice that there are some inherent little flaws in uh, the screen material itself. I'm, I'm guessing that it, just a heat gun will be able to, to massage those things out, but just as it stands, just the way it is, that's what I noticed. Another thing I noticed is that this comes with a couple different options to make it go up and down. You can either do a manual operation, you can do it with remotes, or you can do it with this thing called the wireless dongle. Basically what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to plug into your projector USB and it's supposed to send a wireless signal to the projector screen to rise up whenever the projector turns on and then you know go down when the projector turns off. I couldn't necessarily get mine to work, so I don't know if there was just a problem with that or if it just doesn't work in general, or maybe I just didn't set it up right. So I tried reading the instructions as good as possible, but for my understanding, I just couldn't get it to work. So another con, you're gonna have horizontal banding. So inherent with that sawtooth ALR design, you're gonna get the increased ability to have lights on in the house and you get that great image um, at an even bigger size because let's face it, if you guys are paying for a TV this size, it's gonna be in the realm of 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars. So this is a hundred inch screen. So now the compromise is, is you get the rainbowing effect. You also get the horizontal banding. So now if, if you're not paying attention to it and if you're not really close to the screen, you're not gonna notice it. Last thing is wire management. So with this one, if you're just gonna open it up, set it up on the floor, you will have to pay attention to wire management. One, you need the um, power cable run for your screen, you need the power cable run for your projector, and you need the uh, HDMI cable run for whichever ones you're gonna use. All right, guys, so one thing I wanted to note just real quick, over here on the VividStorm uh, owner's manual, it says not to broadcast an image this far out. Um, I think the reason why they say that is because inherent in their design, it kind of wraps around because of the tab tension. So that's why you kind of get this little misshapen type of effect on it. Obviously, this is a straight line straight across, and then whenever it gets to the edges, you notice it kind of does that misshapen effect. So I'm not necessarily sure if it was the screen or if it was the projector, but I wanted to go ahead and note that in there. So basically with the reason for showing this to you guys is I didn't want to show black bars in the video uh, because I know some people would have been complaining about, hey, why didn't you fill up the entire screen? This is what happens if you do fill up the entire screen. So that's just another thing to note for you guys. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be the uh, review of the VividStorm 100 inch uh, tab tensioned floor rising uh, ultra short throw ALR screen. Um, I think this is actually a really good unit. There are some inherent flaws in it, um, but I went ahead and talked about that in the, in the actual video. Um, is it right for you? I think that this could be right for a lot of people's situations, especially if you go ahead and uh, just understand that there are some compromises that need to be made. Besides that, it's a great unit. I really thank uh, VividStorm for sending this one out to me. Thanks for being so patient for this video. Um, but I really, really enjoyed uh, making this one and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the full-on Vava um, review very, very shortly. So if you guys wanna see that one, that one's been a long time coming as well. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into that one a little later on. But really appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys wanna get, get links to this one, I'm gonna leave it down in the description. And uh, as always, make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.